What's up guys, we're back again with a short little video telling you the three reasons you need this cool door. All next on the Zeal Cigar Review. One of the most important things to do is to store your cigars properly, right? You have to store them properly. Are, are they at 7070, which is the prime, you know, temperature and humidity that you want your cigars? Or is it underneath that or is it over the allowable limits? I'd say all the way down to 65, all the way up to 75 okay. is agreeable, but prime is 7070 in that cigar real estate. Okay. Now, what have you found in, in storing your cigars? Uh,. It depends on the time of year here in Phoenix. Right. So, like, this time of year, my humidor stays uh, a little less humid. Okay. Which is kind of weird because the humidity goes up a little bit during monsoon season in Phoenix. Absolutely. But uh, in the winter months, it stays uh, it stays a little bit uh, more closer to 70. Right. So, right. Uh, it, it, it fluctuates, but I'll say that uh, I typically like my cigars between 68 and 70. I want to give you three reasons why you need a Coolador. Now... Not everybody needs a cooler door. Need one. You need one. Get it? Need Get it? Need one. one. This is the need one cooler door. Not everybody needs a cooler door, but I can think of three qualifying reasons that you need a cooler door. Okay. Okay. The very first one is you live in a hot, airy climate in the desert, like us. Now, there's a couple other desert states as well. Yeah. There's California. There's Utah. There's there's Nevada. Uh, Nevada New Mexico. New Mexico. Obviously, Arizona. Technically, and a little bit, Colorado. I think might even a little have bit some of Colorado desert. and a little bit of Texas, if you will. Oh so, yeah, the great country of Texas. So with with that said, if you live in a dry, airy cl climate like we do, you want to keep your cigars in a cooler door. Now, that's if that's if you cannot keep your house where your humidor is supposed to go at around 70 to 75 degrees mm. some people can't some some houses can't get that that, that well low. In, in phoenix it's really hard to get your house below 78 yeah. in the summer it's really tough ask me what my house stays at in the summer you probably put it at like 68 it's exactly what i sleep to 68 and That's an ohio the, thing bro during the day i'll say this during the day my house stays probably around 72 73 okay yeah so it goes when, up a little when i go to sleep i crank that baby down get it cold and fall right to sleep but if you have a hard time keeping your cigars humidified in that dry air climate this is probably a solution for you even though it looks like a gaming computer a really cool gaming computer you can probably keep your cigars in uh i want to show you kind of an interior view of this so watch this video So the, there's a second reason, too, that you may want to jump to something like a Coolador. Okay. Uh, I would say if you start outgrowing other humidors, right? right. You, you uh, Or 100 or more cigars, usually. Sure, sure. Um, it gets a lot harder to keep uh, mm -hmm. keep those stored both in a, in a humidor as well as just quantity-wise. Absolutely, absolutely. I think one of the hard things is, too, people like the ornateness of a wood humidor. Yeah. But it doesn't really do the job as well as a Coolador or an acrylic humidor. And so while they might look nice, it's really hard to get the actual like humidity correct in that and you have to always tend to it and everything else like that. Which brings me to my third reason and the third most convincing reason you need a humidor like this is like the set it and forget it factor. Yeah, the easy it, use. It really is. So this comes with, you saw in the video, this comes with a little bitty, they call it like a sink, I guess. And what, yeah, they what, did call it a sink. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. So what I would say is you can simply fill that with water if you want, put it at the bottom. But what I distilled would recommend, water. distilled water, what I would recommend is actually putting in water beads. Mm. You probably heard of them as Orbeez from the famous Mr. Beast videos. <laughs> you know, but... I would say that you put those Orbeez or, or water beads in there and then fill them up. And that's a set it and forget it thing yep. for a very, very long time. I would probably put in maybe a half cup, fill it up, watch them all come to the top and just let it sit there and see how many months, maybe even years that lasts you. Because this thing really does cool everything down, keep it 
perfectly great. My dad has one of these. He's loved it the whole time. But you got to be careful not to overfill it with just water. That's why I like this water beads. Yeah. The water beads keep it at 70 perfectly every time. I have them in another cooler door outside in the front, and it never is above 70. Yeah, they're in mine as well at yeah. home, and yeah. they never go above. They'll drop down, mm -hmm. but they'll never go above. Yeah, and when they drop down, typically it's time to add more water. And I have beads in my in my cooler door at home. So we both have cooler doors. Nope. We have one in the shop. And we have this one right here. Water beads are really the only thing that you need for your cooler door. You can use Bovita packs. You're going to be paying so much more for those. Water beads are like 10 bucks for a big pack on Amazon. Go check it out. And that's the three reasons why you need a cooler door, just like this need one that we have right behind you. So with that said, guys, we're going to get out of here and get back to work. We're out of here like last year.